Hi, my name is Aaron with Beds by George, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our Haven Bed series. Now, one of the things that people ask us all the time is, why does Beds by George have so many different types of beds? And that's a great question. And fundamentally, it's because no two special needs kids are the same, and they need different things. And so the Haven bed is just another example of providing safety, but in a slightly different way. So let's talk about safety really quickly. First of all, all of the Beds by George beds are in fact called safety beds, and there's requirements to be a safety bed. First of all, it is a medical product. We are governed by the FDA. There are coding things that are used for insurance companies, HCPCS codes, and so forth. It is something that Medicaid does recognize. doesn't always mean it's going to be approved by Medicaid, but it is something that Medicaid recognizes as a medical product at the federal level. There are other basic standards that all safety beds have to meet. They need to provide a level of roll protection or fall protection. There has to be uh, 360 degree unbroken perimeter around the mattress. And as a matter of fact, the FDA has defined this as seven zones of entrapment and entanglement, which is really referencing uh, a gap, uh, absence of a gap around the mattress, between the mattress and the frame of the bed. So there can't be a burrowing behavior. And also uh, to the side of the bed. So if you think about gaps and rails and things like that, we meet or exceed that standard. There's other GAP standards like the Consumer Product Safety Commission GAP standard, and, and that's going to be far exceeded, especially by the Haven bed. So all of those basic standards, beds by George meets or exceeds. There's a couple of other standards that may not be common knowledge. For example, a safety bed requires caregiver assistance to exit, meaning the person in the bed should not be able to open the door themselves. If they can, they may not be a candidate for a safety bed. This is designed to help keep that individual safe. One hand operation of the door doesn't require a lot of extra motions because you have to be able to open that door easily and quickly. And there's other standards that I won't get into, but those are some basic standards. And again, Beds by George meets or exceeds all of those standards for all of our beds, including the Haven bed. Now the Haven is right behind me, and as you can tell already, it is a mesh-sided bed. It is very different than the other products in the Beds by George family, which are all rigid side beds. But a mesh-sided bed immediately has an understanding of a couple of features over a rigid side bed. First is ventilation. Of course, there's going to be more ventilation because all the sides are going to be mesh. There's also a little bit of a perceived benefit from padding, which is a little bit overstated sometimes because you can pad the interior of a rigid side bed. But this is a, acts as a padded exterior because it is a fabric side and it does move a little bit uh, with impact. One of the differences between a mesh sided bed and a rigid sided bed is the door operation. In effect, there is no door to swing down, so I'm able to get a transfer height much lower on our Haven bed. I can go as low as 14 inches in some cases. But the way the door operates is not all that dissimilar from a tent. So I have a zipper, and I simply open one of my zipper slides all the way to the other side, and I have a door that flips up. And a couple things I'm going to point out. This creates a very, very large opening for entrance and egress. Everything flips up out of the way so that you're not standing on it or tripping over it. So it's up and out of the way. While I'm here, I'm going to point out that up in these upper corners, in the left and the right, are small envelopes that the, the zipper slide will go into for safety. The purpose of that is when this door is going to be closed, I don't stop the zipper in the middle of the bottom like you would in the tent that you camp in, but I'm going to terminate it all the way in the extreme right 
or in the extreme left. And I go past that pocket so that little fingers can't get up there and, and open, open this zipper from the inside. Another feature of the Haven bed is it has a top. It's the same composition as you're seeing here of fabric and mesh on the top for maximum ventilation and also to prevent someone from climbing out of the bed. So those are a couple of obvious differences. But let's talk about some things that may not be as obvious or that are unique to the Haven series. So the first thing you're going to notice right away is that it is mesh with a wood frame. What you can't see is the fabric is actually not attached to the wood frame. It's actually attached to a tubular aluminum frame. And as you can see this pole, this is a pretty thick sidewall aluminum pipe with an extremely heavy duty corner cast aluminum bracket. This allows us to take that fabric and tighten it over time. All fabric beds need to be tightened every once in a while. So we take the fabric, we attach to this Velcro pipe, and by loosening a set screw down here at the bottom on either side, I'm able to roll that fabric up and get that all nice and snug. The wood is not aesthetic only. The wood is actually designed to be a reinforcement. So if this pole moves a little bit, the wood acts as a reinforcement for the entire frame structure and for the top. So you have the benefit of a dual structure, if you will, a reinforced top, unique to Beds by George. You're also going to find that the fabric is removable and washable in a normal wash machine. So you take the same process and simply by reversing it, you can remove the fabric from this tubular aluminum frame without having to disassemble the entire bed. Sure, there's going to be a couple of pieces that you might want to take off for simplicity, but you don't have to take the entire bed apart. And then that fabric can go into a normal washing machine on a cool cycle, dried in a normal dryer on a cool cycle or line dried, and then re-stretched over that aluminum frame and re-tightened and you're good to go. And that is one of the differences between a mesh side and a rigid side is its ability to be cleaned. Because obviously there's more nooks and crannies with a mesh than there would be with a rigid side. With the Haven bed, the mesh is always white, but you have 12 different options of fabric colors for aesthetics. You have six different stain options for the wood, so there is a little bit of uh, accessorizing that you can do. You can add casters to the bed, you can add IV poles to the bed. We have a couple of different deck options to make the mattress move. So there are a number of things about the Haven bed that are very nice. One last thing I want to leave you with is we understand no two special needs kids are the same. Therefore, this mesh may not be appropriate. So we have actually another type of mesh. On the top is our standard mesh and on the bottom is a heavy duty mesh. And there's some very visual differences as well as some durability differences. The heavy duty is roughly twice the strength of the standard mesh. You'll also notice that the holes are a little bit larger for increased ventilation. I will point out it's not necessarily appropriate for everyone because the holes are a little bit larger. So you have to be aware of little fingers. But again, someone who needs heavy duty mesh is likely not going to have very, very small fingers. But the biggest point is you have options. It's not just one size fits all. There's a lot of products out there that look like the Haven bed. But once you get behind the covers, you realize that there are differences. And we think those differences are significant. But let us also mention that we are not saying that this is the right bed for everybody any more than we're going to say our rigid side is the right bed for everybody. Please consult with your medical team. Look at all of the various options that are available to you and make sure that the bed that you select from Beds by George is the best clinically appropriate for your particular need. Thank you so much. Please don't hesitate to call us with questions. Check out our website. Visit YouTube for other videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day.